Hi! In this video I will show you how to configure Jasper Report Server to disable ad hoc cache. After watching this video you will understand how ad hoc cache works, how to disable it and check the changes impact. In Jasper Report Server ad hoc query result sets can be cached for reuse. Using cache reduces database loads and delivers frequently used datasets to the end users quickly. The cache is populated by the data that results from the queries when creating or running ad hoc use and ad hoc reports. But in some cases, data caching is not desired. For example, you have a high performance database that runs results so fast that additional caching in the server does not improve response times. In this case, the slight overhead of a cache may actually impact performance. Or your database manages real-time data and you create ad hoc use that present up-to-the-minute information from this data source. In this case, you don't want to retrieve all data out of a cache. Let's check how ad hoc cache works with a prepared ad hoc report based on a simple domain. When we run a report for the first time and ad hoc cache is empty, the data retrieved from the data source. Super user can use Jasper Report Server interface to view ad hoc cache entries using Manage, Server Settings, Ad hoc cache menu. As you can see, a new ad hoc cache, ad hoc cache entry created. When we run the same report for the next time, no new cache entry created. Instead, data from the cache is used. Let's check it. As you can see, the same cache entry exists. Let me demonstrate it by updating data in a table used by this ad hoc report. Let's modify one column value. Let's say and AL Powers Engineering account name and change account industry field. As of now, the value of the field is engineering. Let's update it to communication. Let's check the table content. Now it is communication. But now if we run the report again, we still see engineering value because it is retrieved from ad hoc cache. In order to get the latest data, we have to manually clear the cache. Let's run the report again. And now we see the new value communication. As you can see, even the column value has been changed. Ad hoc report returns all data from the cache. You can configure a Jasper Report Server to disable ad hoc cache by editing configuration file web inf ad hoc eh cache xml. This configuration file defines ad hoc cache manager sizing and expiration attributes and consists of number of individual caches. The cache we are interested in is ad hoc cache, which used for caching ad hoc datasets. Max byte local heap parameter in cache configuration defines the maximum number of bytes a cache can use in local heap memory. In order to disable caching of ad hoc datasets, max bytes local heap parameter should be set to 1, that means 1 byte, explicitly for ad hoc cache. Let's save it. Let's set it to 1. Save the changes and restart the server. OK, once the server is up and running, let's repeat our scenario and check the behavior. So we run the report for the first time after the server restart and the data retrieved directly from the data source. 
as we can see, account industry is communication. Let's check ad hoc cash entries. It's empty because no data are cached. Now let's update the field value and set it Now we run the report again and we can see we get the actual data directly from data source but not from ad hoc cache. As you can make sure, running ad hoc reports and ad hoc views with disabled ad hoc cache do not populate cache each time data retrieved directly from the data source. This is what we wanted to achieve. For more information about ad hoc cache configuration, please check TIPCO Jasper Report Server Administration Guide, Chapter Ad hoc Cache Management, as well as EH Cache Library Documentation. Thank you for watching.